This is Tim Chandler, the product manager with Nectar. Um, I'm here just to show you our um, Panorama P4, the flagship controller that was announced in 2012 as uh, a big reason controller. We've since added uh, Cubase and Logic Pro support to our integration and now Bitwig and that's what I'm going to show you, uh, show you today. Um, Bitwig is a, is a nice one for us to add because it's the first uh, integration we've done where you have clips and scenes and a, and a, and a way of launching them. So I'll start with that. In mixer mode you have, uh, obviously, you, as you'd expect, an 8-channel mixer. You have uh, the ability to rank up and down, change the track, to change the track. Motorized fader will jump to position to match the track that you want. And as with all of our door support, whatever you're playing at the time, whichever track is active, you have your um, volume control over here and your mute and solo. So it's like you have a channel strip always available. And it will stay available with your mixer, instruments, and transport modes. So I'm just going to quickly go over um, the clips and how that works. When you press the clips button, the pads immediately become, and then you have the ability to launch clips, record clips, and play back. Um, you can even add, add some, uh, new clips, uh, empty clips with a set length, number of bars, and beats, uh, and then record over, over it on the fly. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to track back a little bit, as you can see, the clips turn yellow when they have content. Notice they've got a clip name. Um, so this is an advantage that Panorama gives you that other controllers don't. Um, you don't just see where the clips are, you actually have a name for them. At the moment they're just called entirely, but we can do something more interesting with those. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add a clip on the fly. So it's gonna start playback here. I'm gonna hit hit a, hit a clip on the pad. Start. Move on to the main note. You know, I'm 
by having that feedback, having those names on the display, you know, again, you can get to audition to uh, move different parts of the song. You know? uh, I think it works really well. Uh, it's a different workflow to really uh, tightly integrate. Uh, yeah, exactly. That's that's the thing. The bit it gives you that opportunity. It gives you this, this kind of flexible workflow. But at the same time, you know, Panorama is able to take advantage of that with the integration. Okay. So, I mean, that's kind of like the, the, the clips and the scenes. Um, the other buttons in the mixer mode, um, it gives you control. This, this determines what these eight components are inside the display. If they're on macros, they're going to control the macros of the uh, selected track. So, what I'm going to do now is uh, just, just patch through a few uh, different macros. So, uh, let me just go to a track with. Uh, which has yeah, numerous uh, patches to go through. You can see there you've got the patches in the display. Um, if I hold down patch, I can scroll. If I hold down patch, I can scroll through the bit available patches. Um, if I hit sense, I have my sense all up to sense one to eight. Uh, the selected track as I change it, but I'm also going to overdub. Uh, sorry, uh, update. And um, then there's eight user controls. Now, what this is is uh, this is quite a unique. Uh, way of working. And it basically means that any any kind of uh, device chain, um, any, anything in the, in, in the entire session that I want to control, I can put onto these controls, and they're always going to be available and they're stored in each session. You want. So it's like you know, rather than having uh, you know just one instrument, you can take any instrument. Which is, um, obviously, how the panorama works, and it's a great way of working. It just means that you can kind of take parameters from different tracks and just put them all there. So you know that when you're in mixed mode, you press that button, you've got control of those eight parameters. And it's quite easy to assign. You just select a parameter. Perhaps if I just go to, um, if I just go to a track with some devices on, and I can just move any parameter, uh, select any parameter, hit then control, turn it, and it's assigned straight away. And get the graphical feedback, parameter feedback, feedback you can see right there. Useful, interesting feedback. Uh, so you can set up your eight user controls, and then the instruments. This gives you um, this gives you first of all the common controls, the parameters. Now, so you've got eight common controls. Uh, if I press the patch button, I get the macros. And again, I have this ability to go through the different patches. I can browse by category and author. Perhaps I want to go to maybe get the brass sounds.
that's what we do, you know, that's what the next difference is, is to give you a decent workflow. Try and keep your eyes away from the computer, uh, off the hands of the mouse, off the point keyboard, off the, everything you need when you actually make the music, when you elevate your creative so everything you need is a one that on there. Oh, so pleased with the uh, the drop.